Hey man, so looking here at the uh, different ones, you've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, and nine. You go to the uh, configured, app configured applications and then go to the wireless gateway. You can see which ones are online, which ones are offline. A little bit ago, I disconnected the, the two sensors from here, and this is where you can actually see both temperatures, the product and the temperature sensor. But at the same time, you can go in here and you can see them both right there also. But when you go to the the one that's alarming, both of them are not are, are at like room temperature. So the only one I found was was this one, and I think this is the one right here. But I'm gonna find out. I'm pretty sure this is the one, man, because I saw uh, I remember seeing all this this crap up here when I changed it or when I installed it. I'm gonna just take these loose you know, the, the sensors, and then we'll go see if I lost connection at the controller. Actually, so I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to put it on this cooler over here. Because just a minute ago, I was uh, I was up here, and see, we've got this cooler. Oh, no, that's nine. Now, which one was it? we got this one here that says four. I don't know if it's being monitored or anything, though. The only thing that takes the longest is the walking back and forth from front to back so many times. So let's see, we've got they're all still connected we haven't lost anything it should say none might have to give it a minute or two to to update there we go it took a minute to update but it updated now it says none yeah so we lost both of them now I don't know if we've got something monitoring number nine so half of these are incorrectly labeled I did verify that number one is correct you know, I kind of want these to be accurate and actually reflect the case they're working on. So I'm going to take the controller off of this one and mount this on there. Yeah, this is the one that I took the controller off initially when I did the compressor replacement because I got the wires just hanging back here. Alright, I got number four on there. So now I've got number three. I took them loose on number three and we'll see how it's updating on the computer all right so back over here we got number four number four is back no longer an alarm you can look at a uh, log so yeah I just had to disconnect to see so number four is good number one is good I just took apart um, number three I think it was we'll see if it'll update number seven is actually the one that's over there that's down that I got the controller off of. All right, so here we go, number three updated. So the number three module is on the correct number three cooler. So that's good. I mean, I could probably just leave it like this for now because, you know, once I connect that back because the alarm should be gone. You see right now, we don't have a sensor on, on case nine because I have that one disconnected, but who cares, man? I'm just going to leave it because I fixed the issue that they called us out for, the alarm that we had in 70 degrees. So I'm going to put number three back, and that'll be it. All right, so this one's number three. I put it back together. So we got number three, number four. And this one is, is two, and that one is one. Something's wrong with these damn vacuum uh, drains because that freaking vacuum center is running nonstop. Okay. All right, so number four is back. No more alarm on that. And then we've got number seven that's not reading, which is fine because number seven module for that to be down because number seven case is, is down. It's unplugged and over there in the corner, so we're good, man.